this week's YouTube video, we answer a very simple question. How do you turn a stack of rough cut lumber that's got all different species mixed together into a usable cutting board? Oh, that's this week's project because we got lots to do. Let's get to it. Hey, while I'm thinking about it, so did you guys know that you can support me for totally not spending a cent by hitting the like button, subscribing, and sharing my videos? Doesn't cost you a cent. Does helps the algorithm see me a whole lot more, and it's totally free for you. It just takes three clicks. Just wanted to throw that out there. Thanks. Bye. And we're back several hours late. It's getting dark out, so I don't mind any weird lighting effects. Just finished running a day's worth of errands. So like always when we're doing boards, we got to start by cutting the end square. Now, the rest of these, Based off this one, and my standard length for cutting boards is 24 inches. We do have a lot of off cuts as well, but I'm getting everything ready today. So I can't find any of my pencils out here. So that's why I'm using a pen. Put an X on the side that you want to make sure you remember to cut on. Should be the last one. To this for pen to planks, honey dippers, stuff like that. And with that, we're going to set this down.
can tell by the black behind me, it's now after 10 o'clock, so we had to shut it down. Uh, I did get all my wood jointed, so tomorrow, first thing in the morning, we get to give the neighbors the lovely sound of the table saw running. So yeah, we'll be cutting all of that, a couple on the foot ground, don't mind the mess, a couple right there, and all that. So yeah, we'll be getting all of that knocked out tomorrow morning and hopefully get some of these in clamps tomorrow by about noon, which means about 10 o'clock I'll be able to start swapping them out and yeah, get that done, get them clamped up, spend some time on the lathe. I want to try to get about another 30 or 40 small ones done for this weekend. And yeah, with that, see you guys in the morning. Have fun. And it's the next night. I completely forgot to do the uh, record any of the table saws. So hey, so what you get when I'm half asleep. So tonight we are working on pulling and gluing up boards. These don't look it, but they're actually a very dark red, almost orange or reddish orange. And this is how we glue them up. So I set them on the clamps. I'm trying to do this one hand, it's kind of rough. Just pop those up. Grab our wood glue. I can't find the bottle I normally use. So I'm making do with what I have. Just run a bead along every board. Don't mind my messy floor. I'm trying not to keep any of that in frame. Water in the background is my aquariums that apparently need some more water added. Switching hands for the last two. There it is. This is why I use tripods and don't try to do this freehand. Alright. And that should be enough glue. I did used to use a brush, but I found a silicone roller for wood glue. These things are awesome. They work just like a paintbrush. Just roll that out so you get a nice coverage. with these don't push too hard because you don't want to push the glue out you just want to smear it it's just a silicone roller with a couple of grooves that way you don't push all the glue out but I find if you don't press very hard it works just as well and once those are all glued in nice, I just roll these back down. From the one side. Oh, and don't mind all the stuff on my table. It's mostly varnish and wood glue. And by the time these are done, it gets all cut off. I can't do this next part one and we're back. I might need another hand to do this right, but we shall see. So now all I'm doing is tightening up my clamp. You can start to see some of the glue squeeze out. Get that nice and tight. Double check the edge, a little off like right there is fine. Slide to the other side as I try not to kick this thing. 
That's all I did on the last one that I just realized I can do one-handed. Tighten this up. You can see these gaps start to close up. Now I'm starting to pull some tension. I apologize for how shaky I am, but I don't really have anywhere I can set a tripod up right now, so. Actually maxed out on what I can clamp with everything. And with cutting boards. Ow. Just pulled a beard hair. You always want to get at least one clamp in the middle. I have pretty good fortune with three. More is better but when you're trying to get a bunch done you learn what what you can get away with and if you take the time to prep your wood right you can get away with doing a lot more or a lot you can do use a lot fewer clamps for and get a lot more um, boards tabletops projects whatever it is you're working on in and get more done. You can get more done at once. I'm half asleep. So I've got enough clamps for like two more sets, but I'm not doing them. I've got, I think, three over there with two. And a couple of special orders I had, plus a few others. So I think I'm calling it for tonight. It's been a long day. I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, and we're back. Don't make fun of the farmer stand. It's already hot and I gotta get this stuff done, so hence the tank top. And yeah, it's bad. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I forgot to film pulling these things out of clamps. All it is is the reverse of what we did. If you guys want in the comments, I will do a dramatic recreation on a video just for that. Um, yeah, so the next step is cut these edges square because some of them are really bad. This one's actually pretty decent. So, uh, yeah, we're going to cut these, run them through the planer. Then I got to rearrange some stuff and get my sander out and sand them up. So I'll cut the I'll cut this one up. Then we're gonna again time lapse montage in this one. I just counted it up this uh, last night too, and I've got 14 cutting boards that we're working with right now, and a couple of them are gonna be clipboards. So oh, potentially clipboards. I gotta see how they look when they're planed. But here we go. this around probably gonna miss again but we're gonna try it did I'm like a 30 second off. It's ridiculous. Mm. Here's that. If you do it right, you only have to cut them once, but hey. <clears throat> all right, so that's all I'm doing for the next 13 boards. Some of them I'm gonna cut in half, but I I might just do that now so I don't gotta turn this thing back on. 
So if you see anything getting cut in half or in cut in the middle, all I'm doing is halfing it up. And yeah, so I'll see you in a time lapse. Okay. Now we are going to get the planer set up. First thing to do with that, dust extraction. So I normally don't show you guys this part, but hey, figured let's be different today. So the this ring goes on here. That goes on top of my bucket. Bin, whatever. And lock that down. This goes onto there. This hose comes around here and hooks into the planer itself. Scooch that over, get that clear. Now I gotta see if this is plugged in. It is. One second, I gotta plug in the dust extractor. Make sure this will actually turn on. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to slide up here to the planer. All right. We're going to leave the dust extractor off just so you guys have a chance of hearing me. So when we're ready, I'll just ah! sorry. Pull this board up. Turn this on, feed it through, a bunch of blades go through and cut this stuff down. We're only doing the one with the noise and then after that I'm turning on the dust extractor and we'll time lapse this as well. to say they normally don't come out in one pass but that one actually did so let me go grab my table and every time we do this we take we move this wheel a half turn until we get down to where we need to be the trick is keep these as thick as possible, so I want to take off as little as I can, but I still want to make sure I get down below all the nasty spots, which I see one more on this one I don't like, but table time.
now it's time to cut three bad places out, which I'm not filming, and then hit the router table. See you in a bit. And we're back. Don't mind the crazy dog that decided to start barking that won't listen. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not. I apologize if the fans uh, overpowering me as well, but it is hot. So now we are on to the router table. I did go through an order and realized I forgot I had one one of the handle. So I did that off camera just to get it knocked out. I also had a purple heart that I couldn't tell the difference between the purple and the walnut. So I used some really fancy high-tech tricks to bring the purple out, get set in the sun and let the uh, sun repurpleize it up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it worked this time, so I ain't complaining. Anyway, so for this, we need to put our shape on the edges. So I'll apologize for the noise, but loud. today I do have other bits that I can do other shapes but I just like the simple curve on my boards because they're quick they're easy they look nice and yeah so we're gonna play with the rest of these and I might try another slow mo to see what that looks like all right so now we are all moved outside excuse me while I kill my fan and uh, yeah, so now we're gonna start sanding on these. I forgot these on the planer, so these were gonna be the uh, full-size clipboards I was gonna be making. I knew I had some somewhere. So I'm just gonna go over the one side and then throw it on a time-lapse and just go to town on them. So with that said, we will be back in a minute because I just realized I forgot something. And we're back. And before I forget, in the time lapse, you might see a bo bottle of water coming out. Well, actually, just a spray bottle, but all of is filled with is water. For the cutting boards, I actually go through, get them nice and sloppy wet, sand them, re wet them, set them off to the side to dry. And I'll do that between every sanding grit until the last one, just to keep them from uh, getting. What it does is makes the grains and the hairs stand up that the sanding knocks down in order to keep it smoother once it gets wet. So that way when you get it, it stays nice and smooth and comfy in the hands and doesn't get all rough and nasty like it would otherwise. So with that said, we're going to start sanding these.
and then to hit these edges because they do get kind of sharp we'll just other one and I think most of these yeah I'm just gonna run all four grits instead of three like I try to it does give it a little bit of a better luster so with that I will see you guys in a couple hours back and on to the final step turn that fan off while we record this final step is where we take wood butter yummy delicious wood butter right there smear it all over our boards and call it good just get it all in move y'all for the progression. This is not the smoothest tripod ever. If you want smoother transitions, well, let me know a good tripod to get, or I think I even have one on my Amazon wish list for the channel. Link in the description. Channel description, not video. I don't bring that one up very often because I ain't here for free stuff. But yeah, so all this is is beeswax and mineral oil. So a little bit closer. If you guys ever pick one up, you don't need that big of a glob and you don't need to put it on anywhere near as heavy as I am. The initial coating, I'm expecting most of this to get absorbed up into the wood. I did just clean this, uh, the bottom up where I'm going to be setting these, so that is all sanitized. And that's that. I do wear the gloves just because it's a quicker cleanup for me because as soon as I'm done with this I got to go inside, swap gloves, get into a 3D printer. and. Redo a bunch of stuff there. But you do get to see some of the prettiest transitions right here when you're doing the initial um, finish saturation. And from my experience, that's true at any wood. The first coat of finish is where you're going to get the most dramatic changes. In appearance. Sorry for me not being in frame. I am grabbing everything else that I need to get done so I don't got to keep running back and forth with every board.
I'll take it. And yes, when you're doing it, thick coat. This is just how fast it takes. Let me see if I can zoom this out a little bit. There we go. By the way, I do mix this stuff up myself. That's why I've got it in the painter's bucket, which again was bought clean, washed, and this is the only thing that's ever been in it. I do make it, mix it myself, make it up. And if you buy from me direct, I do include a two ounce tin for free. having fun now. I ended up having three boards that got turned into clipboards today. I had 14 boards total to get through. Uh, I believe, I think that means I got 11 that are usable cutting boards. If I'm doing my math right. Although I don't think the 14 included some of the ones I did end up cutting down, so I could be wrong. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Tomorrow morning when I take this stuff off, which is going to be Friday morning when I'm releasing this, so I'm not doing that on camera, but all you do is take a paper towel and keep wiping down until it feels pretty much dry to the touch. It'll take me a whole lot more than it'll ever take you guys unless you get this liberal with the uh, finish, but I'll be honest with you, I think the smallest one I've grabbed so far has been about one and a half ounces, maybe two. <laughs> oh yeah. And I only came in the shop because it started raining, but I guess it was just going to rain just long enough to make me go, Ah, I still have saws and stuff sitting outside. I need to get those in. And at the time of you guys seeing this, if it's um, the day of release or the weekend after, if you're anywhere near me, they will be available all weekend. What is today? The 29th, I think it is. Yes. Yep. So yeah, today is August 29th, 2024. Check out the Facebook. I will be posting where I'm at later tonight going to be a three-day festival for pioneer times in the U.S. I was there last weekend too. I'll be honest, it was kind of fun. Very relaxed, very chill, very busy for me, but I'm not complaining because I'd rather be busy than sitting on my butt at one of those all day going, I wish I had someone to talk to. 
Definitely seeing where I, uh, the old mixture I used to make of this, where it's a lot sloppier. I started adding more wax here recently, so a lot of my newer ones aren't this runny. Not that it matters, because when I'm uh, doing this, I want a little more oil and beeswax in there. Because it'll absorb up a little bit quicker. This is our last board. I said other than wiping them down which is just that but in reverse and that takes a lot longer and a lot more paper towels I'm probably gonna go through a roll and a half tomorrow that's the basic cutting board with that I so, will see you guys next week and if you guys have any uh, project ideas throw them out because uh, I have one left Otherwise, I'm going to start going back to some of the more basic stuff that I still need to get stocked up. With that said, I will say, cat in the hat and dappy dat. See you later.